Hey YouTube, this is 116 Brothers. This is my review of my Apple iPod Touch 4th generation. Alright, so let's get to the review. Um, we'll start with uh, the packaging. It comes in the box like all iPods do. It says iPod Touch on the side. Designed by Apple in California. And it comes with um, fingertips, which is you know, tips about the iPod, um, such as App Store, purchasing, setting it up. And uh, warranty information and a new cord, which was uh, not, it's a redesigned cord, I guess is what you should say. It's uh, more square than the old one. This is the new one. You can see it's uh, definitely more square than this one. And it, it doesn't really add anything, but you know, it's, it's something new. The headphones are Apple's basic white headphones. They uh, supply with all iPods. This doesn't have the um, voice control or whatever on the headphones. It does on the iPod, but not on the headphones. And, uh, you know, the headphones aren't, aren't that great, but they're okay. Um, also comes with two Apple stickers. The iPod itself, this is a 32 gigabyte. I bought this skin on skinit.com. So, uh, $15, Colorado Rockies, and uh, the screen protector I purchased on Amazon.com. And the screen is kind of scratchable, so I would definitely recommend getting a screen protector for it early on, like before you even use it. And uh, it, I have a little scratch right here. There's a, this uh, new, there are power buttons right there, sorry. The new one has two cameras, fourth generation, um, has two cameras. One right here in the front and one in the back. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a really neat iPod. It's got the connection to your computer right here on the bottom, the headphones right here, and a speaker right here, and volume buttons on the side. Now, like Zoom software, I wish they would have made a, a button where you could control uh, skipping the tracks without having to unlock it every time. I find that very annoying for some reason. I, I'm not really sure why, but um, with the zoom, you just have to click the side button. It brings up uh, volume and skipping tracks and uh, and pause, play pause. So uh, this doesn't have any of that just volume and, and power and lock right here. So we'll go ahead and unlock it by clicking the home button, slide to unlock, and uh, Pandora. So there's your home screen. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I have the wood uh, background. The backgrounds are really easy to change. Um, you know, the lock and back, <laughs> the lock screen and the wallpaper home screen is really easy to change. And voice control is it's pretty cool. Um, we'll go to voice control. It's not all that accurate though. I wish it was a little more accurate. Um, you know. It, it's not very accurate, but we'll we'll see if it'll play. Uh, so you just do it by holding down the home button. Play artist Creed. Playing songs by Creed. So there, it uh, it starts playing, and you can hear it on the speaker. It's got a it's got a pretty loud speaker, which I I like. Uh, um, the sound quality on the speaker obviously can't be that great, but it's it's got a solid speaker, and uh, you can see the artwork, Creed, Human Clay, and it shows the song up here, and you can also view the album here and rate it, and then you can go here to uh, artist um, cover flows. Cool, I love cover flow. And uh, it's, it's really easy to play songs and stuff like that. You know. It's really easy to find your music. I mean, I think cover flow is a lot easier than really any other MP3 or iPod out there software. I think cover flow really beats it. And it's also, a, you can turn it to either side. Uh, you can sort by albums, artists, playlists, songs, genres, 
genius, genius uh, shuffles your music to stuff that's like it. So, you know, you're listening to, uh, you know, whatever, a rock band, and you want to listen to more rock or more stuff like that rock band. It'll play like that. So, um, Genius is a it's a cool uh, program, and you can also access now playing. By clicking right there. Ah. Maybe I can't. There, and then it takes you back, and it'll play. Your music will play throughout your games and stuff like that. So. So we'll look at some apps here. Uh, my main ones are Facebook, Mail, and Safari and music and I have three boxes for games you can add boxes by uh, holding down you can also delete them that way holding down an app and you can see them start to shake and uh, that's a new feature with this this generation and you can stop it by clicking the home button but then uh, you can name them and I have several boxes there just games one two and three right there and, uh, and then if you go right there, I have backgrounds, useless, um, some other stuff. So videos. The YouTube app is really uh, nice. Um, you know, it's it's really easy to navigate around. I've been watching a lot of um, NBA dunks lately, and it you know it's given me some. Derrick Rose dunks, so that's cool. Get out of YouTube and settings. It's really easy to change the background. Um, I've downloaded several. You just go to wallpapers and then click right there. Camera roll. Camera roll. And you can change it easily from there. So, you know, if you want to change it to uh, Batman, you can. Um, so set is home screen. And now when you click home, Batman shop shows up on the back. So that's it's it's really neat. The camera is pretty good. Um, I think I don't think a lot of people like it, but I do personally. Um, I think it's a pretty nice camera. And uh, you can see me. I guess you can't. Ah, there's the back camera, and then the front camera is you just touch the button on the top right, really easy. You could also record video, which is just like the iPod Nano, um, fifth generation, I believe. And photos, really easy to blue, not view. The screen is remarkable on this. I think they updated the resolution I believe but I'm not exactly sure on that but the screen is really I can see it when the sun's shining you know I remember uh, on my other iPods it was hard I had to you know go like this to see it when the sun's shining and this you know it's really easy to navigate around when the sun's shining right at you and um, it's it's a really nice screen um, Safari there's also um, Safari's really good on this uh, iPod. I'm looking at, we'll go to apple.com on here. And, uh, you can view it sideways or up and down. And, uh, so there's, uh, uh apple.com on here. And, uh, I think they put retina display on this, is why it's, it's such a good screen. And you can also multitask which is a big feature by double clicking the home button um, it shows apps that you've recently viewed so music camera settings and YouTube are what I just viewed and uh, Pandora ESPN weather and Kindle are what I, I viewed too so and then you can just click back into your app if you don't want to and the games are pretty nice this is the number one gaming portable gaming device out there over PSP and Nintendo DS so you know, a lot of people are just getting this because it does everything not just play games and not just browse the internet and not just um, you know play music it does everything and it's uh, you know it fits right in your pocket 
and uh, you know comes out really easy but I do recommend getting a case skin screen protector because it, you know they're, those are you're really gonna need that because um, it will get scratched it, the back of it is the metallic stuff that the classics have and it scratches really easy so you're gonna need to get a case for it but and it makes it your own um, but retails for two hundred and ninety nine dollars uh, you can pick it up at Best Buy or Apple dot com uh, you can pick the skin up at skinit dot com I'll leave links below on the video uh, thank you for watching YouTube please like or uh, comment and uh, thank you YouTube later